clipping did, or something. Is it clipping now? No. But like okay. right, you got I pushed animated. the go live button. Go okay, live. you guys you guys talk without me. Fairly beloved. Go live. Let me We're tell gathered you here this evening. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Brian, you were a bit quiet a minute ago, quieter I'm than bit. than Juwan and John. Okay, I'm gonna start uh, singing. I don't know if you, you try any... to match my. Yes. <laughs> you got Give us a note, Juwan. Hello. 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 Wow. <laughs> wow. Hello. Gee oh, whiz. Wow. Should, Maybe you guys I, are just too loud. I should be a lot better oh, now. Oh, I'm oh, cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's quiet. Am, am, are you? Am you hearing it? <laughs> I almost said. <laughs> what is that? I can hear. Is that JT? That's yeah, JT. Yeah. Yeah. I can oh, hear JT. Okay. No, he's just doing that with his own doing the voice armpit. and his. Yeah, this is armpit. It seems like, like Brian and JT dangerous. are on the same vo the same volume level, and I know JT doesn't have a normal mic. If today. you turn your mic down, do maybe John, turn my mic down. You got a little bit of an overdrive. All right. Well, how is it now? I'm turning it down a bit. Hey, how's That's that? Better. It, is it Am better? I yeah, strong it's now? Better. Okay, it's I'm not distorted now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See. Say what what I tell ask. you. Never I'm... be afraid to ask. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to hurt my feelings. All right, everyone, turn up your computers. That's I want right. I want Mandy to down. tell about the the wedding that she went to and the guy who was the preacher. Yeah, oh, I the, from the beginning. I don't know how to say preacher. I mean, I know how to say it with Pastor. my accent. You just said but it. But this one had a particularly righteous Irish accent. I, Irish? Irish? <laughs> We've established that it was indeed Scottish accent. Yeah, was it? Oh. Yeah. yeah, we established it with Scottish. He's rolling his R's, and I Scots I did a Scottish, Scottish accent when I did a beloved. Oh, is that <laughs> we're what gathered? You're we're yeah. gathered. If he sounded like Gerard Butler, he said <laughs> then he was Butler. Scottish. If All he sounded I know, like Stoic the Viking, it was richer or poorer, <laughs> poorer, richer or poorer. That's poorer. definitely Scottish. Or if he poorer. sounded like a Lucky Charms commercial, that's Irish. It's Irish. Irish. <laughs> he would say Irish is. Always after me lucky charms. And always Scottish about... would be always after me lucky charms. <laughs> 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 Scottish is just angry Irish. The so cheesy I always... <laughs> monkeys. Yeah, if he, if he was Scottish, he would he wouldn't put up with the kids taking his cereal. He'd just <laughs> no he'd way. crush him. Yeah. Better. Better. Yeah, we brat, you're not getting my cereal. So the, so the Irish let him get away with it. In the sky. Right, the Irish are pushovers. <laughs> you brat me charms. You brat me haggis charms. Children. Look at all the darn children taking my, taking my oh, well. cereal. Oh, well, I, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> he's magical. You no know, he's one got, in he's Ireland magic. speaks below can... a C sharp. <laughs> they all talk up here. I'll turn those weird children into... Mushrooms. <laughs> oh, I'm so angry now. Listen to me. I'm going to smash him in the face. Before this gets even completely more out of hand. I've lost my temper. Oh, hey, Jessica. Jessica's part Irish. Oh, great. She's always after me like a charm. Oh, we'll have to have her on to talk. Uh -uh. Do, 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 do. Well, Sherry's here. Thanks for waiting, Ooh. Elwin. Oh, good, good evening. Good evening, fellow skiers. Good evening, Stefan. Sign up if you dare. Starving comics everywhere. Coming out of quarantine. So catch the vibe and dig the scene. Sounds a little sluggish on my end. I'm going to restart. <laughs> yeah, mine too. A little. Hey, what's his face or gala, whichever you prefer. <laughs> driving. Hey, Jeff. Wait, did you say he was driving? Yeah. That's not a good idea. Fig figuratively or literally? Yeah. I just saw. I just saw what's his face and gala. They were here at the <laughs> camp with me this weekend. So. Oh what? man. Yeah, they're driving back to Odin, Indiana. 
Have a good show. I'm going backstage. See, this has more of a swing to it right now. It's a little more laid back. Yeah, welcome. You wanted the best. You wanted the best. best. (laughs) You wanted the best, and we've gotten the best. The hottest Uh, web show in the world. (laughs) I want to hear. I want to hear Brian say it because he's got the shirt for it. Oh, you wanted the best. You got the best. The (laughs) hottest show on the web. (laughs) Skew. <laughs> so, uh, JT uh, recorded new an, another version of the show uh, of the theme song, and uh, that we played it for the first time last week when awesome. most of you guys weren't here. Uh, but it it <laughs> seems like you were just uh, you had an intensity when you recorded that one that was thank you that was couple different. different. Couple of I was excited because we're no longer in quarantine, right? Yeah, Hopefully. but you were like you were like belting it out. In Good that one. Yeah. Good. Thank you. So, hey, welcome everybody. Uh, Brian's here. Look, Brian's here. Juwan's here. JT's we're here. We're all, all here. here. We're all here. So you know what I'm going to do this show? I'm just going to I'm just going to smile at you guys for an hour because it's so <laughs> great. <laughs> so great to have everybody here. How does just, one hug over the internet? Oh, there's emojis. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and he answers his own question. Whoa. So, yeah. We, uh, there's an order <laughs> that we're supposed to be in? Whoa, there I go. I there we go. Oh. That. <laughs> Who's in charge of that? Is Jeff, Jeff Lane is the one who is in charge of I didn't of even know him. we had a thing. Thanks, Julia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I guess Jeff's keeping track. Jeff does blocking. Uh, <laughs> Julia missed everybody. And uh, well, I did too. Brian and I, we, we and, and Peach, we persevered last week. We did the best we could. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's nice uh, to everybody here. Thanks. Um, the, 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 it was great. So it was, uh, uh, Brian had a good KISS concert. Mm-hmm. Uh, JT's actually at camp tonight. Um, yep, that's why my audio is bad. Mm-hmm. Sorry about and that. Camp, it's camp audio. Yeah. And is this your birthday, Juwan? Uh, Friday was. Friday was, but um, yeah, but you know the United States declared a holiday for the whole weekend, kind of like um, Memorial Day, kind of like the whole weekend. <laughs> mm-hmm. So everyone's got tomorrow off. Yeah, sure. Nice. Right. Yeah, birthday. yeah, you don't have to go to work tomorrow. Y'all didn't know that. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, you know what we should have done was if we should have had uh, Mandy find the, our traditional happy birthday song for Juwan, <laughs> and we could have played it. Dude. Um, uh, Mark, she might still be able to do that. She our lead singer, play. Mark Hall, his birthday was like a couple weeks ago. And I was trying to find that for him, the epic birthday. Which, by the way, folks, mm-hmm. this is something if you don't know about, just go on YouTube and search epic birthday and then their name or your name. Mm-hmm. And you can find. But uh, evidently, William Shatner made a video <laughs> personalized for a birthday. They sang a shout for him, but it was like, happy birthday, Mark. And I sent that to Mark. I was like, "Hey, man, I uh, texted William Shatner to, yeah, (laughs) put in a call. Here it is for you, buddy. So if your name's Mark, (laughs) go look that up. We have have a song that we've been using for years, and I think Mandy was the first one to find it. And she sent it to I can't remember who she sent it to first, but it became an became a uh, an instant classic in our family, and we send it." To everybody on every birthday. Did you find it, Peach? For Juwan? Is that what you were? <laughs> this going to say, Juan! <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday! She's, she's making signals, <laughs> and I'm, so I'm just going to, I'm going to let you keep finding. I don't want to put any pressure on you. Julie has already given me a hard time about wanting to know how big the show is this week. Um, we want to know. That's a valid question. That's a good I'm, question. I'm not, yeah, it deserves, it, nay, it demands an answer. Yeah. You can't ask me to get the birthday song and then ask for the I'm, same thing I just had on the screen and then left to go find the birthday song. So I know I, I was about it. to explain gently to Julia to, well, as not I to upset her. I explained it not gently, and I like my way better. I have the birthday <laughs> song. Guarantee you, it's not going to pronounce Juwan correctly because no. that's what I was hoping. Actually, is that yeah. it would mispronounce Juwan? Yeah. Oh, hopefully the audio works here. Let's do this. 
Okay, ready? Here we go. Yeah. Tell me if this works. We're watching YouTube inside of YouTube. I can hear it. Oh, can dang. Hear it? This slaps. Ooh, towels. Ooh, oh, just wait. It gets lines. better. Happy Ooh, essential birthday, oil. one. Happy, happy. What's the dog say? What do you want? <laughs> My dog says, I woo! One birthday, birthday, one! Happy B Day! Happy B Day! One! Big finish! Big finish! One, yours, one! Yeah! Man! Yeah! So much one happy is going happy on birthday. there. That's great. Yeah. That's something, isn't it? I, you know, yeah. I like how in this age of auto tune and stuff, she just decided we're not going to use any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sing it straight out, one take, and not even trying to. But I, also, I like how all the pictures came from the Pottery Barn accessories <laughs> oh, that purchases was the one that website. I that was the spa theme. They also have cats and dogs. They have like a cake slash. No, bakery theme they've got like destination like beaches and stuff i mean if yeah, we had the time i would have great. asked you what you pre preferred but <laughs> hopefully is, we've given you a birthday menu and... it's pitch perfect on every level there's there's nothing wrong with that video no. yep i agree mm -hmm. so anyway and now we're ready different names too so the so question was you send that to everybody who isn't named juan no they have it for for everybody's name, you just go and search that name, and you can find. Uh, Malipnos. Beautiful. There's you can Michael also Bolton. send an awful song to your loved ones. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very soothing. I mean, I like how it's a spa theme, and it can put you right to sleep. It just kind of relaxes mm -hmm. you. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's educational it's, it's... because you know animal sounds <laughs> for the In kids. Spanish. <laughs> yes, My that's true. Says, this is Luke. <laughs> Acknowledging that's... that in our house, if it's a person's birthday, we just say, good morning. My dog says, woof, woof, woof tea. Tea. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyway. All right. Here we well, go. it's we already also, a big show. We also do, uh, there's a cat licking your birthday cake, but we'll save that for somebody else's birthday. <laughs> um, so uh, how big a show is it, Julia? Um, I am glad that you asked. If a typical skewed show is represented by this woolly mammoth, tonight's show looks a little like this. Whoa! Wow! And the Epcot ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's yeah. a sky view of the Epcot Center. Yeah, if you guys never been there, that's what it looks like. Wow. Wait, <laughs> that that's is, not a yeah. moon. <laughs> that's no moon. <laughs> that's no moon. I'm endangering the mission. That's an aerial space <laughs> shot of Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you got an Alec Guinness in there? I can't do Alec Guinness. <laughs> I'm in the division. Yeah. I kind of just do a beetle, just, an old just do, beetle. Yeah, just do like a generic, you know. This is not this is not the tea you're looking for. Obi-Wan. That's, <laughs> that's a name I haven't heard. Since I last cut off your father's <laughs> legs and arms and left him by the lava. I mean, a long, a long time. A long time. Good. Let's get some soup. <laughs> very, very I'll take fast. you back to my place, Luke. Since I left him irrecoverably in crippled in the <laughs> transforming into an evil killer. <laughs> oh, I should. Uh, we should do more of that. Um, hey, Brian, we got a a guy who is first timer tonight. First oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Crowder, right. I'll stick around anyway. So uh, you need to give a shout out to <laughs> Elwin. Uh, hey, Elwin. In, some sort, in some sort of voice of a celebrity. Well, well, well. I would just like to say, welcome, Elwin. I don't know that other thing you referenced, but that's okay. <laughs> because you don't know what this is either. So I guess we're equal. So anyway, I just want to say thank you for being part of Skews. I hope you enjoy your trip. <laughs> Very good. 
<laughs> very, very good. Very um, the last Freeman. time we saw Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> he never came back. He was there a Shawshank? The show. Was there a Shawshank cap character? Was there an Elwin in Shawshank? <laughs> No, um, oh, okay, now I'm gonna have to look that up later. An Elwin character? I figured there was somebody. The main character's name was uh, the mouse. Frame. What's Wasn't the mouse a... name? Elwin. It was Andy. <laughs> Wasn't there a My rock friend. and roll singer Andy. named Elwin? Lived in Memphis. Jake and Elwin. 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 Yeah. Elwin Rancid. Yeah, blues. <laughs> um, I, you guys, uh. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to reveal the Scottish <laughs> insult like, generator tonight. I was like, are you playing chess online over there? No, like I'm distracted because I forgot to put the names of the clickers into a thing. I know who they are, oh, but uh, so I'm going to type them into the private chat so that our producer can put them in. Uh, <laughs> no, you sound like customer I'd, service. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I'm sorry, we're looking up your reservation right now. Hold on. <laughs> no, no, okay. I don't, I don't see it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, so we're gonna say this one more. So we're gonna once she gets that in there. I'm try to do this on. Beat. I can vamp all day long. Okay, so she's. It won't take her long again. So I can somewhere. do the song. Yeah, so you can do the song. Okay. Yeah. Clickers are great. This is for amazingly great. Yeah. Athletic and fun and crazy nice. smart. They're beautiful places are where command. Clickers are great. Oi. Incredibly, <laughs> totally great. Oh, yeah. Without them, we'd be destitute and drifting into the abyss. Lovely clickers. We yeah. blow you a kiss. Some people sit in furniture that's made of cattle wicker. We love that too, but now let's have a sit down with the clicker. <laughs> Okay, this week, in no particular order, we want to pay special tribute to our clickers. Teresa! Teresa McKinney! McKinney. And Dan! Yeah, if you... <laughs> If you tune in every week, the only reason you should probably tune in, if nothing else, should be, can JT do another rhyme? I think that, <laughs> that every single week. Yeah. Every single knows. week, I think he's going to run out. That's the last one. And then he comes up with another one. Um, oh, I had to so, look that one up. I didn't know there was such a thing as cattail wicker. <laughs> oh. We Did you educated. all know that? Yeah. No. Yes, no, yes, of course. <laughs> cat we all, everyone knows cat yeah. tail wicker. It's better than the uh, it's better than dog tail wicker, yes. I can tell you. Not, Horse you don't tail work wicker. With. <laughs> yeah, cat tail mammoth, wicker is the only wicker that I have at my house. Mammoth tail wicker is not easy to work with. No, it's not. Uh, thank you it to all of our too. clickers for your support. You make the show possible and uh, you also make the show more fun. If you would like to support us, you can go to johnbrandy.com and join our merry band, join our telegram group, be part of the effort party, which is uh, always an unpredictable time. <laughs> um, all right. So tonight, we I, I've been working feverishly on a Scottish insult generator, and I have successfully <laughs> constructed one in, uh, in Google Sheets. And so what we're going to do is we're going to ask our folks to come up with a uh come up with a with an argument um it's like something like is butterfingers oh. candy any good or is it not any good but you you come up with a dilemma maybe it could be a, a dilemma in your household yeah a dilemma that you guys are are fighting about and what we're going to do is we're going to split up into uh we're going to split up into two groups it's going to be the top group which is me and brian <laughs> versus the bottom group, which is just going to be JT by himself, um, because, <laughs> because Juwan is going to decide which one of us uh, ah, is correct. And so while we're making our while we're making our arguments, we will pepper our commentary with insults. Um, so we need a controversy. Mm -hmm, we need a controversy. Um, OK. OK, so we've got candy corn already. Oh, that is a, uh, definitely a thematic. Yeah. Does That's pineapple a seasonal. belong on pizza? Cool. Um, I can even make that argument. Both of those, both of those are good. Our Scottish accents the best ever. That's easy. Yes. Um, 
Why do soccer players always fake it when they get hit? Mm. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm leaning towards candy corn. Um, it's the, the season. Yeah. So since you're all by yourself, JT, do you want to take pro candy corn or con candy corn? Uh, I'll take pro candy corn. Perfect. Pro candy corn. So that corn means can, Brian, and corn I, con. Brian and I are con candy corn. All right. So the uh, insult generator, let me pull it up here. Um, all right. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't need to do it. Uh, so, uh, all right, Brian, you uh, go first. And since you're the, pro we're the prosecution. And so you make your case for, for candy corn. And then there's your your insult okay we'll hear from you we, we should start with a new insult because we have that one already right okay we, yeah we can yeah you can um yeah i can do that all right let's hear from the prosecution oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> thank you your honor uh i would just like to come out and say uh first and foremost candy corn is trash uh that is actually on the packet the proper way to eat it is to open the packet dump it directly into the trash can um mm -hmm. candy corn is basically wax and mud that is pretty much what it is and anyone who thinks differently is a, a haufen mocket ned ah interesting point uh the defense i disagree <laughs> yeah you better granny do because i think candy corn has its own flavor i would fish it out of the trash if you poured it into the trash i'd fish it out and i'd stick it on my own teeth and make my own teeth longer because it looks so good at halloween and it tastes so good because it's the only thing in the world that tastes like candy corn, you weak scalpit goon. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Uh, you have a cross-examination uh, prosecution? Uh, back to you, Brian. I'm, I'm stepping out. <laughs> I find, and if I fight fire with fire, you green tooth and ever clawed. <laughs> Listen, the only thing candy corn is good for is for smushing it in other people's faces. <laughs> That's all it's good for. If you ever tried it, you go, oh, what this is like. I would rather eat a birthday candle than candy corn. <laughs> it's so much more flavorful. You, you custard gammy goon. <laughs> Let me tell you this about this, you scabby dragon skinned asp. <laughs> That's a close one. That is a close one, yes. I, I had to say that slowly. Hit that last P, really. That's hard. right. You have to enunciate. It's very important to enunciate, you hackett skelpit flagpole. <laughs> Anyone who thinks that they're. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I would rather I'd rather be a fruit-filled granny belter than eat candy corn. It is so terrible. Candy corn is absolutely I can't even come up with words on how terrible it is. It's only they only sell it during this time of year for that reason because it's not good enough to be out with all the other candy. Ooh, a defense. That's a pretty strong argument right there. Yeah. You got any more? You got, you well, got a I counter just, for I that? I just want to say, if there was a <laughs> bowl of candy corn in the front yard underneath the tree, and there was a wee kitty cat hanging up for his dear life with his wee little clothes <laughs> in the tree, and the only person to save him was me, I'd eat the bowl of candy corn and let him die. That's what I say. That's how much I love candy corn, you scabby owling monkey. Listen, right. you sliding hack and rocket. <laughs> candy corn is neither candy nor corn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I was going to say, do y'all have a closing argument or a closing statement you'd like to uh, summarize? Well, I'd like to say I disagree with everything that Clark and Dothy Tim said because it's full of sugar. And anything with sugar in it is candy, you Clark and Coswallop do. <laughs> well, one more summary there, prosecution. Give me. Give All right, you droopy, crunchy jackknife. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you this. I would much rather eat a peep. You know the peeps. Those are way better than candy corn. Butterfingers are way better than candy corn. You know what? I would rather eat a Werther's original from my grandfather's pocket than candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> that is how disgusting candy corn is. Oh, warm and... <laughs> Not well, even in a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've deliberated, and uh, the, the findings that Judge Juan has come up with. Wait, since the beginning of time, there have been highly contested debates with no clear answer. Today, there is one man who can settle all of that. He is Judge Juan.
All right, be seated, please be seated. If you're seated, <laughs> if you're standing at home, why? Anyway, <laughs> two reasons why I'm going to find for the prosecution that candy corn is not good. One is um, the uh, prosecution's argument that they don't sell it any other time of year. That was pretty strong. And number two, uh, I have horror candy corn. So obviously, <laughs> it will not. It's not good. So I'm just, that's it. That's it. Fine for the prosecution. Candy corn stinks. Mm. All right. You put up a good fight. You knob hobble. <laughs> what are they? Cods wallop. Do. I didn't get to do anything. You put up a good fight, you nub lip plum pudding clod. <laughs> These are, some of those were strong. I, usually yeah. with a randomizer, they don't, they come out kind of weird, but those were strong, y'all. Yeah. Reloaded well, with your own. That is the other. Uh, that's the other strong reason to become <laughs> <coughs> to become a member of the of the uh, comedy clique because we're going to make the Scottish insult generator available in the file section so that you'll be able to uh, access it and use it for your own uh, you know to solve your own uh, fights yep. at home. You sling We've got one other of those themes in or at work mm -hmm. on deck too, don't we? Don't we have other themes on deck. Insult tell generator. Them deck. Yep. Tell them, JT. Tell them what we're working on. <laughs> tell them about our secret project that we're working on. No, I don't want to give away the secret. No, I want you to. Do it. Do I it, even... you nubbed lip Scotty <laughs> scrub cake. Uh, candy corn loving it. numpty. <laughs> <laughs> you numpty. You oh, numpty you dog up? licking candy corn hustling. Well, uh, I think oh. the next one, the next one is the redneck one, right? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Custard We're just practice your accent, everybody. Yeah. We're just getting started on that one. Yeah. We've got the redneck insult generator. There's the beginning of it. Oh, and, uh, and by the way, if you are in a, uh, you know, if you're in the click and you're in the telegram group, if you want to send us some words to include in the Scottish insult generator, uh, JT will check to make sure that they're not um, <laughs> that they're not dirty weird. words. Uh, and we, it was funny. We were talking about that today before we started the show, <laughs> and uh, and I was musing as to how many of those words are actually uh, vulgar, dirty words. And JT said, <laughs> "I checked." So he looked. Um, we're in the been clear. sanitized for your protection. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think so, uh, Amish insult in, uh, generator is mm -hmm. in the works too. I think that would be good. <laughs> or yeah, or East Coast. What, you ever wonder Boston? how the Amish oh, yeah. insult each other? I think mm -hmm. we should. Yeah, <laughs> we could find Jeremiah. Out. You don't churn butter very well. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lackluster barn raiser, friend. <laughs> You're, You're just a trot loose. Yeah. Yeah. Your Short fireplaces beard. don't last. Your hat wearing, <laughs> buggy driving, bearded. <laughs> I think you've got a wagon wheel loose. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. That's a good one. So if you have, a, if you have suggestions uh, for the Scottish Insult Generator, send them to us. And we are working feverishly uh, 24 hours a day, round the clock, on our <laughs> uh, southern insult uh, generator. And JT has done the bulk of the work on that one. But we are open. We gotta to... have a Yankee one too, though. I think mm -hmm. Yankee one should be close on the heels of the Southern one. Well, we've got a guy from Boston who can <laughs> yeah. help with that. Exactly. Oh yeah. I gotta Amish work on my Boston insult. accent anyway. Oh. You can just say ka. That's it. Ka. Pack a ka. Pack a ka in the ad. That's all that. Wicked. Wicked ad. Cool. Not in the harbor. <laughs> Don't pack the ka in the harbor. Pack it in the ad. Uh, you guys made me forget what we're doing next. <laughs> but but oh. we rehearsed this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we did this in For rehearsal. Three days. <laughs> um, here's the uh, here's the thing I want to do oh, next. Oh, great! So Thanks, Gail. Well, that'll be awesome. Uh, oh, please, yeah. okay, please. When you go down there to ask them how they insult each other, I need a video of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's they that? How do we insult you, each won't, other? They won't let you film. No. Oh no! Are you serious? Uh, yeah. Hidden Even camera. If you have it like in your purse or something, Veritas style. Why won't they let you? <laughs> right? Isn't it the? Well, wasn't it something where it was like they would, it would take your soul or something like that? I don't know. I could be making that up. I'd <laughs> really like to know why Brian, the West Coast guy, understands the Amish culture better than the guy who lives an hour away from. 
<laughs> That's because I've been to Ship Shawana with, with John Branion. Mm-hmm. Apparently, you absorb more than he does. Yes. Brian is correct. It's actually about making graven images. Thou shall have no okay. graven images, and so they, many of them, don't want to have their pictures taken um, or be on film. So, I just want the, good I just job, want Brian, to Thank see you. if people, even if they're on Rumspringa. I don't even know what that. Oh yeah, when they go crazy when they're teenagers, right? They get, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, then you can film them all you want. Then, then you can make a reality show. Your, yeah, it's gonna yeah. Say your BET show or whatever it is. Yeah. I just want to see somebody explaining to the Amish, like when you, you know, you know, when you insult each other, you know, <laughs> that puzzling look on their faces. Uh, you know, like, you really want to hurt your. Other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last week we did. You, we did it's on knowledge. fire. Your world's yeah. on fire, John. For, world's on fire. Your tiny world. You're look at this. We got. Look at this. We got. Uh, oh yeah. Um, that was the other thing. Palpatine. Palpatine is here, and we did the enthusiastic money, which I'm going to throw away. Just um, FYI, your audio is your audio is sped up again. Not as yeah, bad did, as yeah. last week. It's a, le- a little it, more manageable. It's more manageable. <laughs> but it pauses, mm-hmm. and then when it catches up, it's like really fast. And so last week it's really, 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 really fast, but this week it's like really fast. <laughs> um, okay. There's a lot well, going on here too. I'm there gonna is. Go back to it. Should be it should be okay now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna solve one. We're not gonna do a lot of scribble knots. We're just gonna do one puzzle. We're gonna solve one puzzle, and then I'm gonna introduce you guys to two of the characters that we didn't get to. <laughs> last week now you see you, there's down there there's that little uh, crash dust dummy hopping around um, right uh-huh. that was that that dummy was was basically inanimate but we figured out together as a team we put our heads together and we figured out that if we hooked him up to a car battery battery he would come to life and so that's why <laughs> he's dead he's dead now he's so annoying everybody now he's hey, just God, just <laughs> oh gosh and why so, did we ever animate this don't guy don't forget to wear your seat belts <laughs> <laughs> you don't wear your oh, he's annoying. You don't wear your seatbelts. <laughs> you still haven't explained why the crack house is on fire. Is that Palpatine <laughs> set it on? Whoa, elevator action! Great, Great game. <laughs> so we have that's the we're going to the two firemen and one. She snores so loudly I can't sleep in my complete gear. It completely clothes and his helmet mm. and fifty pound jacket. <laughs> All right, so we got to fix so, the snoring, eh? Right, we've got to. We have to figure out how to how to fix the snoring. And there's, we we talked about this last week. Scribble knots. The <clears throat> the purpose of playing this game is to try to come up with a creative and inventive way to solve the problem. <laughs> not, because, a, not an actual. Well, yeah. well, be, well, because what you can do, you can you can tear through this game in about an hour if you just kill everybody. <laughs> you know, like she's snoring, she's snoring loudly, so we could kill her, and uh, and then that would solve it. But but that's not as satisfying as hooking a crash desk dummy up to a car battery, for example. Right, right. <laughs> My thought though is to give him <clears throat> something like, uh, like to knock him out with a mallet. Like, so he's so, so uncontrollably unconscious <clears throat> that he can't okay, hear so the snoring. I am gonna go into the uh, scribble knots thing, and I'm not gonna talk it's to you guys us, anymore. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna listen because you guys are gonna make fun of me if I talk. Spray right. her with the hose, and then she's up. Yeah, I wonder. Do you, have to, do you have to do it to the one who's snoring, or can you do? That's something the question. For okay, else? we're gonna do nose. No, a nose plow. Oh well, that was good. <laughs> nose plow. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> a nice plug. Here, here, Susan. We got a nice plug for you. What is that? What was that? <laughs> uh, it just had a, a hand with like a can in it, but it didn't do anything, did it? Remove, still snoring. Can Did you, someone um, say plastic bag yet? You can put a plastic bag uh, over it. Yeah. I was gonna say him. like silly putty. Yep. Play nickel bag. The thing is, I think we're trying to get them both to sleep. Uh, what can he do now? Cause it, can he throw it? Never move it. That's not working. 
Can you got, turn the temperature down in the room to freezing so that they <laughs> or it's blazing hot so that they wake up just sweating? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. You could give him something like a, a sedative. That way he would sleep. <laughs> Put on earmuffs. That's a that's the first one. Sedative. Is it? There it is. There it is. What? It let him take it. Taking drugs and. Oh, oh no! He did it the work? The wrong guy took it. The wrong guy took it. <laughs> oh. No, that's the guy I wanted to. That's. Funny. He's asleep, right? Or did it wake him up? Okay, so we're supposed to stop the guy on the top bunk from snoring. That was awesome, yeah. Juwan. I gave it to the fireman who's got the problem and it wouldn't put him to sleep. She it said she's snoring so loudly I keep waking right. up. So even the sedatives hey, okay. won't keep him to sleep. But that, was a, okay. that was a great idea. Your solution was to knock him out. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm, yeah, I'm still okay. thinking of how to do that. Like if you get a giant mallet and knock right, him out. Like a Bugs Bunny anvil to the head. Ooh, an anvil. Giant mm -hmm. anvil. Um, all, of course, he does have a helmet, doesn't he? Can't just drop it. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> he was lining it up like a pool shot. He was like... Mm, gotta make sure it hits him. Oh! No, it didn't do anything, did it? Yeah, throw it away. What's so somebody had a pretty good in the comments that was actually oh earmuffs. <laughs> Jessica Noonan said earmuffs. There you go. Set off the fire alarm. That's, that's the first like actual what? What a plugs. Yeah. Drag clothes on Macwell to have him wear it. Yeah, good yeah. job, yeah. Jessica. Excellent. Okay. And he decided to sit down in a chair instead you of laying the crash down. That's the wake him up and dance in their room just to distract him from right. snoring. Wear right. your seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, crash test dummy. Get out All of right, here. Problem solved. He Next. walks in there going, Problem solved. Now, yeah, I was going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to introduce you to the. And no one could sleep. When <laughs> they finally woke up, they had an anvil over their body. <laughs> Couldn't quite explain it. It always just been there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to what interrupt. Three you. people, three people know what, what I'm doing. We just right got now. kicked off of YouTube because yeah. that was so accurate. That <laughs> uh, <laughs> that rendition was a too accurate. <laughs> okay, I'm going to introduce you to the Crash Test Dummies just for people to know. That was when they had a song. Oh, that called. was Crash Test mm -hmm. Dummies. Yeah, all M's. Yeah. Yeah. How many M's is it? Like it was four? a lot. <laughs> like there was, mm -hmm. was like yeah. <laughs> I think it was just one M, but it was held out for a long time. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. Well, so, okay, um, the stars I don't understand. We earn the stars. We earn stars. Then, what? And we then trade you, them in for goods and services? Yes, we <laughs> trade them in. They're like S&H &E. green stamps. <laughs> no, they're, they're points. They're points, Juwan. And the more stars we get, then the more problems we've solved. And we get the feeling that comes from helping out the people in our right. world. And we still get rewarded, though, with stars. Yeah. We get rewards. Gold but, stars. Okay. So uh, I'm going to introduce you to the two characters that I didn't get to last week, um, now that you guys are here. And uh, so let me That's go in. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Do you, so Palpatine was from last week, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's J2. J2. <laughs> well. Nice. nice. I'm like Cyclops from the X Men. <laughs> Scott, don't take my glasses off. Scott Summers here for your assistance. <laughs> okay, now uh, I'm gonna put a piano in front of JT, and you guys can watch what he does. Okay. <laughs> if Palpatine doesn't zap it first. Uh, whoa, bro, is it grand? Nice. Yeah. Yep. 
So he came that running was away it. from it. Just like eight <laughs> notes. He went bling, 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 bling. Okay, anyway. <laughs> it was just the clicker song. It was short. <laughs> he doesn't play it very long. Yeah, he just... Two chords. And I'm not sure why... I'm not sure why Palpatine is not zapping it. What if we put it over here by Palpatine? Let's see what happens. We'll How close? What's his, uh, what's his damage radius? Palpatine... Nope. He only reacts to uh, Palpatine. I mean, only reacts did. to tacos. <laughs> I'm yeah. a little out of That's it right. right now. Pal everybody. Palpatine only reacts to uh, Mexican food. Oh, okay. he too. Is, <laughs> he's, he's a food. Do you have any chimichangas? <laughs> <laughs> Bring them. Here. We didn't. <laughs> Perhaps a gordita. <laughs> We didn't try a chimichanga. Let's try that. Let's put the chimichanga on the piano and see what happens. Yes, put the um, chimichanga on the piano. That's never been said before <laughs> in the history of the English language. Not even in like French class. Uh, you <laughs> haven't played at some of the, the bars I've played at, Juan. Uh, like when they're teaching. I was going to put this chimichanga <laughs> on. Oh, yeah. There he goes. <laughs> on the free oh, oh, no. oh, JT. Oh, oh, JT. Oh, the chimichanga. Never Got become... It. Never come between Palpatine and his Mexican food. <laughs> it's such cheesy. It de decimated me. Yeah, it's your own fault, JT. You shouldn't have gone after the chimichanga. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? JT, want to put him over here? That's pretty good, Doctor. Yeah, Filter. just everybody <laughs> stay away from. Move, <laughs> JT. Everybody stay from away from JT. I mean, from Palpatine. No. Oh no! I got okay. it again. Now that now that the chimichanga's in him, you oh, can safely that can be eat dangerous. that over there. Would he walk oh, over to? Oh, here we go. Don't put me near the fire. I wonder what happens yeah. when you put a chimichanga near me. Oh, is that? Oh, Derimo. <laughs> I, actually, I've been called every single one of those names. <laughs> There, we go. there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what am I, Dr. Teeth? <laughs> Long and electric mayhem. Yep. <laughs> that or you're playing the Actually, the role of Sherlock Holmes. Lost, <laughs> the lost member of the Muppets. The Sherlock Holmes movie. Oh, you know I what? appreciate uh, the hat, even though it's not yeah. even close to the right one. Has anybody seen I... uh, what, we, what we do in the shadows? Yes. I worked on, I worked on Juwan longer than everybody else like combined <laughs> and believe it or not that is the best one that i made you cannot control that's can't the best one you can't contain Barry my wants essence. you to give him a guitar what will happen very if good sherry let's do that guitar he's looking let's up do for that. It. he's getting along with palpatine right now yep. which i don't know he's if it's a good thing or a bad thing uh -oh. uh, electric guitar it's not close enough give it to him oh Nope. He's just like, what's that? There you go. Oh! oh bam! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Was, it, was I riding it? It was like a broom. It's like, like a Harry mechanical Potter. bowl. <laughs> Riding a mechanical guitar. Okay. Well, bam Electric guitar. Ooh, there you go. Is it the this same thing? Rock. <laughs> yep. wheel, wheel, wheel. He rocks and falls ever... over, and then he's done. <laughs> yeah, guys, ever seen a solo played with your butt? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's done that. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, oh, I think. I mean, we could go. <laughs> <laughs> I can play anything with my anything hindquarters. You can't do. <laughs> Scribble knots. Juwan can play any instrument. Juwan the Vivo and the Butt Band. <laughs> give, him a, give him a harp. Take a look at the ivories with my butt cheeks. Harp. <laughs> He's got to drop that, though, right? Yeah, you got to take that away from him. He's going to have a whole bunch of instruments piled around him when we're done. A giant. Pink harp. Yeah, so that's where we are. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Give that to him. <laughs> Stay with me to heaven on the harp. Uh, oh, that's great. Aki's completely unencumbered, but he's just slammed into the street. I hope there's not a fire emergency and all these instruments piled up in front of the fire engine or pink giant. Oh. Pink giant helium. Oops. What is hassium? I don't know. <laughs> Did you mean these other words that I have no idea what they mean? <laughs> Weightless. 
There it goes. <laughs> oh, grab it. Good See y'all later. Play. I'm going to play it. Oh, does he? Oh, why wouldn't he float away? It was weightless. Oh, that would be hilarious to see him float off with a pink harp. <laughs> How float? Oh, interact. Give him the harp and see him float. <laughs> <laughs> just a harp rocket. You're just kind of hanging out there, <laughs> blasting jet fuel at the end. Oh, oh, you're you're, you're did running around. To I can't. Yeah, I can't get the. I can't get the. I can't get the heart because you keep flailing around with it. All right. Um, can't keep okay. still, man. So that was uh, <laughs> that was that was worth all of the effort that I put into it. No regrets. No regrets at all about the amount oh, yeah. of time Palpatine that I spent. was fireproof. Yeah. Um, so there will be more. There will be more scribble knots in the future. We have many more problems to solve, and so you guys are ideas. doing excellent. The, the excellent we we have let's just say right now that we're not going to solve any of the problems by killing things let's just make that okay. <laughs> agree let's just make nobody a dies right in scribble not land nobody dies um, except and we jt getting near the mexican food yeah as long well, as you but, stay away but, from the chimichanga but, but <laughs> that was just but that was an accident that was yeah not we're intentional. all yeah, we're all still getting used to each other. We didn't yeah. know Palpatine right. sensitivities. <laughs> yeah, we learned the boundaries. Boundaries. <laughs> okay, we have we have some weird news um, that I would like to bring up. Some. Um, yeah, we'll keep JT away from keep JT from getting in between Palpatine and Mexican food, <laughs> and we'll. So let's yeah we'll see that. In, in yeah. fact, if anybody dies accidentally, we'll we'll have to keep track of this. But we'll we'll deduct points. We'll like <laughs> a death meter. We'll like yeah. lose points. And no uh, Palpatine accident since. Yeah, if we yeah, accidentally exactly. kill somebody, <laughs> that'll be fun because that'll that'll pool. ratchet up the tension. You know, it'll be a little oh, bit yes. Tread lightly. Bit tension. Okay, uh, first picture. You guys know how this works. You have to figure out what the what the news story is. Um, it's firecracker. And we've got yeah. Well, that's oh sorry. That's a sparkler. God, actually, God, I just got too excited. Sorry. It's a sparkler. I don't understand why we're we're waiting. Okay, there no, we go. The first female conductor <laughs> of, of the marionette. Actually, somebody stole her marionette. That's what it was. Oh God. <laughs> that's why she's got such a sad expression. Is she in the Guinness Book of World Records for the longest she fingernails? Is. No, the, JT. No, no, you always guess it. She's got like <laughs> uh, party poppers, the streamers for fingers. She's uh, oh, she's okay. in the Guinness in, in in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most sit-ups. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my no, I'm I'm kidding. She's got the longest <laughs> fingernails, and and that was that really isn't even one of the news stories. I just put it on there because I I thought okay. What sort of a life has this woman led for the last thirty years? It takes it took three decades. Well, I mean, there's state fairs to go to. There's uh, mm -hmm. there's yeah. uh, talk shows you got to be on, um, mm -hmm. yep. and then the yep. constant maintenance of the yep. of the nails. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you know how long it takes her to trim her toenails? <laughs> her toenails? <laughs> that's a long. Yeah, that's probably like an eight hour job just with the, just with her. Yeah. Fingers. Well, you wouldn't be able to function, flipping. right? You couldn't. You couldn't do anything. You couldn't cut your own food. You couldn't. You couldn't use the bathroom. <laughs> I think she's got a blog, own. though. She's got a blog. Like, what right a tragedy there. if you break it. What if you break right. a nail? <laughs> You've been she growing trips. for thirty years. Right. So, so there was a video of the woman who used to have the world record for the longest nails getting them cut, and they basically used like a Dremel tool. Like from Dumb and Dumber, the sparks are flying off of they, it. Yeah, they, yeah, they basically used the Dremel tool, and then they, they left, you know, about that much left on there, and they were talking to her about, you know, like she would use the bath. I don't know how, but, um, yeah, and just all the things that she was doing, and then they, like, took the, they took the nails and they put them in their museum, which is one reason you should never go to the <laughs> World Record Museum ever. Yeah. See fingernails. Yeah, it seems like... The fingernails detached from the person would be less impressive, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just a... It seems like you wouldn't have a... I don't know. 
Uh, the only reason I put it on there was because I just thought it was fascinating and, <laughs> and gross. I agree with that. Um, all right, so the next bit. one. This actually is a news story. Oh, I saw this. Mm-hmm. Crud. <laughs> I hate when I see this, the news because it's funnier. It's well, Alfredo. Let's... They invented the uh, the tastiest <laughs> Alfredo sauce. <laughs> <laughs> but you can that also like he's use in a to prime your house. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. He's got it looks his like goggles. He's in a supply closet at the hospital or something. <laughs> he's he's supply closet. <laughs> Handy man caught pilfering the Alfredo yeah. sauce in the kitchen. <laughs> Wearing goggles. It's a. It's so good. You don't want to get just, in your eyes. It's probably something he found from like the 1800s oh. or something. You know, like because look at the look at the bristles. It was like a ghost brush. Like yeah, a, like a ghost brush. Like the, they would, he caught the brush that was tormenting a house for centuries. <laughs> <clears throat> An old painter had died in this house, uh, and he I, invisible paint. That's interesting because <laughs> because it's totally visible. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> uh, Give me a clue. Is it not paint? Ooh, eatable paint. Why did? Well, they probably. It is paint. Oh, it is paint. Okay. It's like the. Whitest paint or something? The whitest white paint. That's right. Ding or ding something. ding ding. Yeah. Gold star. I don't know uh, how they measure that. How do they measure it? <laughs> well, that was why I thought it was interesting because I figured that you guys would have a theory about that. Uh, oh. Researchers at Purdue University earned a Guinness World Record. Uh, the world's whitest paint. Uh, West, a professor of mechanical engineering in da, 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 West Lafayette, Indiana, oh. said the original uh, aim of the project was to create a paint that would reflect sunlight from a building and thereby lower energy use as a means of fighting climate change. Mm, wackos. Uh, the paint, which incorporates barium sulfate particles, reflects 98.1% of solar radiation. <laughs> wow. Here's what's, here's what's weird. Okay, he, so he instead of birds... Out of that room. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna. Yeah, it's already. That's what I was thinking. Is like instead of birds flying into windows, now we're just knocking them out of the sky. Yeah, because <laughs> the sun's reflecting off the buildings. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you see we're that just, bird just fell out of the sky. We're just yeah. dazzling them out of the sky. <laughs> the yeah, I thought it would have been, been wider. <laughs> it's not even. So this white right here is not even as white as the border that you have around the picture. It's a little. It's got a little cream to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's man. hilarious. You guys can't even see how white that is. Right. <laughs> You're not even able to appreciate it. So I have a story. Do you know the story behind the blackest black, Dad? No. Oh, my gosh. You didn't Paint? even know about this when you picked... Well, color, yeah. Is it the mm-hmm. same guy in West I Lafayette? Don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't think it was. Okay. West, but, we care about paint in Indiana. I heard <laughs> about this and laughed out loud. This was headline news in 2019. And let me just read you this headline from People. Uh, Anish Kapoor owns the rights to the blackest color ever made. So another artist made his own super black, and now it's even blacker. What happened was Anish Kapoor, who originally had the blackest, the patent for the blackest black, made it so nobody else was allowed to use it, and he was suing people for patent infringement if they were using his color without his express permission. So then this other guy, Stuart Semple, created newer, even darker black, black 3.0, and now everyone is allowed to use it except Anish Kapoor. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love a good ending. <laughs> That's That's good. Man. You've got a, a dude that thing. just watches Anish are... Kapoor all the time to make sure he doesn't paint something <laughs> These are all grown black 3.0. These yeah. are all grown-ups, right? They're not like seven-year-olds. Going, I'm inventing a new paint, and you're not allowed to use it. In the, battle, in the battle over artistic access to the world's blackest blacks, Stuart Simple isn't backing down. The British artist who took exception to Anish Kapoor's exclusive contract to use Vanta Black, that How was the world's you. blackest black substance, just launched a Kickstarter to produce a super dark paint of his own, <laughs> and now it's been fully funded. This was back in 2019. I think he actually yes. made it. Black 3.0 Meanwhile. is the blackest, the maddest paint in the known universe. And uh, it's like a black hole or a void in a bottle. And uh, <laughs> that's how he was marketing it. Meanwhile, husbands are standing in a Sherwin-Williams going, I can't 
I can't tell I the can't difference. Can't see the difference, yeah. right? What is the? Which now, one is it? This is the. This is the money sentence. Now, after a successful oh, no. round of beta <laughs> testing, which saw samples sent to a thousand artists, samples ready to share his latest creation with the world, except Kapoor, of course. Of course. <laughs> yes. It's a black Vengeance. hole in a bottle, or their social lives. <laughs> it's funny. It reminded me of a thing that I that I actually did, or or was part of when I was like in fifth grade and uh, my my best friend you know how you go you have fights with your best friend in, in fifth grade and then you hate each other's guts and you get back together well we had this way we had this way of folding notes when we handed them to each other and uh, when my buddy Kevin got mad at me and he took up with uh, Jim instead of me when Jim became his best friend then he and Jim were folding notes and passing them back and forth to each other and when I folded a note Kevin stopped me at recess and he pushed me up against the wall and he said don't fold notes our way <laughs> so I was not allowed to fold notes the way that he and Jim were folding notes because that was their way so you had that to create was... a new way of folding it I had to fold it I had to fold notes a, a different way right right but I totally did I, I do that little them. What is it? What was that called? Like the little dream catcher, or whatever, or the fortune teller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Pick a color, red. R -E -D. <laughs> yes. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you have goodies. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have fifty children. <laughs> uh, okay. Next picture. We're almost out of time here. We're not gonna get to the one that I wanted to get to. Oh. We... Okay. Oh, dinosaurs are allowed to stay in the hotels now. That's <laughs> such nice. an open society. Oh, yeah, cootie catcher. That's what they called them. I forgot. Oh, the cootie catcher. Okay. I never called them cootie Specifically, ste so Stegosaurus uh, mm -hmm. bias has plummeted now because they're they're allowed. Like the T-Rex could get in the Ibis Hotel, but not Stegosaurus. So now they, they allow Stegosaurus after a landmark... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with uh, landmark legislation this congress giving taking a selfie oh yeah <laughs> yeah they're pretty bad at taking selfies so right as a, they're about kind to of a... push the button just oh yeah. that's what it was it was just like in atlanta right before they demolished the ibis hotel the stegosaurus marches in front of them mm -hmm. so they couldn't get the shot so now it's being destroyed you can't tell because the stegosaurus is there um that's <laughs> As usual, that's actually a more interesting story than, <laughs> than what it really is. Uh, the death of a 39-year-old man is being investigated after his body was found inside a paper mache dinosaur statue in Barcelona. I think that story tells itself, actually. Police were wow. alerted to the, to the corpse after residents in the Santa Coloma de Gramet Gramenet yep, stay with it. saw what looked like a human leg through a crack in the stegosaurus sculpture while also noticing a foul smell. Huh. Firefighters were called <laughs> to the scene and forced to cut open the statue to reveal the body inside. That is now, the that's... worst pinata ever. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's just breaking open and a dead body falls out. <laughs> he was like, because uh, you can know, because he was like, okay, time to get the candy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh crap. That reminds me there was a <laughs> Oh dang it. Where's the escape hatch? There was Rodrigo, a you're supposed to build the right escape hatch. Sorry. <laughs> there was a dead body in an amusement park in California for a long time in the haunted house. Oh I, somebody yeah, killed I somebody and right. hung hung the real dead body in there. I always thought it would be a good Broadway musical. The story the, of that. It would. <laughs> yeah. It hung there for like thirty years or something. Yeah. People it, thought was it was some outlaw guy. Dummy. Yeah, that guy killed, and then his corpse got passed around to like f traveling uh -huh. fairs and stuff, and ended up in Long Beach. Yeah, yeah, that's so weird. I love I that story. It is weird, but but fascinating, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I really do think I guarantee you, because if if this thirty nine year old man is anything like myself, he doesn't plan too far ahead, <laughs> and he, he probably was making a super awesome pinata, and just went, just, oh, did you see it. what Julia said? She what? put it up. He ate all the candy. <laughs> all the ca candy corn. That's how he survived. Surely someone will come looking for me. <laughs> it never happened. Everything except the candy corn. Why did I pack all the Worthers? 
All right, let's do one more. Nothing let's but do candy one more. We, got, we got 30 seconds. Sure. Here we go. I don't know what this is. Coming in a minute. Hey. Ooh. Yeah, cat Ooh. facial recognition software. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. You, well, you, so you don't get your cat it. confused with somebody else. Yeah. Well, obviously, you're on the right track. But that's oh, not yeah. exactly it's like right. It's, no, I'm sorry. It was a filter for Instagram. It's like a, a it's a face filter for cats. It makes them look more attractive. <laughs> makes them look human. <laughs> makes them look like dogs, so people <laughs> will like them more often. Uh, no. <laughs> it's no. a. Is it for lost and found cats? Like if you found a cat, mm. and it would tell you somebody who. No. Uh, you, you need to think. You need to think. It's a dating more. app for cats. Yes. Uh, <laughs> dating app for cats. It's, uh, it's, uh, Instead of Tinder, it's litter. Litter. <laughs> and that's just. Uh, that's great, e Brian. E <laughs> that's great. It's totally wrong, but it's great. <laughs> Is it an email client Mouch. for cats? Meow mail? Meow mail? Meowch.com. No, but that. <laughs> It, it, that's not what it is, but that's the right kind of weird. You're thinking, <laughs> you're thinking correctly. Cat owners who love to take pictures of their furry friends now have a new excuse to pull out their smartphones and take a snapshot. It may actually help the cat. Uh, Calgary, Alberta, Animal Health Technology Company um, has developed an app called Tably that uses the phone's camera to tell whether a feline is feeling happy or sad <laughs> i thought that's where you were going oh, wow. it was like you take a picture of it and it says oh your cat may be having a stroke <laughs> take it to the vet immediately <laughs> the acronym for that company too sounds like the first part of a sneeze the ahtc you think about it <laughs> so if you're allergic to cats huh? Huh? <laughs> But it's an app. You take a picture of your cat, and then uh, it will tell you basically how your cat's feeling. If your cat's feeling pain, if your cat's feeling comfortable, if your pet, no. you know. Has anybody? anybody it's always indifference. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who owns it's gonna be, everybody's gonna. Everybody's gonna <laughs> delete we, the app we, when they yeah, find out. Like I've been taking pictures of him for seven days straight. And it's always <laughs> apathy. Can we ask someone in here who who has a cat to download the app and try it? Yes, or that would be different. awesome. Yes. Oh, now he's annoyed at me. Now he's hungry. We just need somebody, someone who has a cat. Yeah, somebody get the app, try it on your cat, and uh, and send us the results. Bored <laughs> apathy. <laughs> Bored indifference. Yeah. Um, pretty much. Yeah, I, I was going to ask if anybody who owns a cat has ever had any trouble figuring out when it is in pain. <laughs> you know, like if a cat is... <laughs> If a cat is wounded, have you ever have you ever if thought only there was some hmm. natural mechanism a cat had <laughs> yeah. to, uh, alerting right. us to its pain? <laughs> right. If there was some way he could let us know that we've stepped on his tail. <laughs> well, he's gonna he's gonna tweet it. That's a. Fun... <laughs> <laughs> now he needs a Twitter account. Yeah. It was like the cat. Yeah. So if, if there's somebody here who has a cat, please download that app. And, uh, yes. Yeah, That'd be helpful. Right out. Let us Immediately. Know it, okay. And we will put it into Scribble Knots. It's called Tably. Tably, T A B L Y. I may, I may make Melody do that just to see. Because our. Oh, we got you a know cat. what you should we do? Have a cat. <laughs> you know what you, you should do on. is take it out and try it on your chickens. Ooh. Take yeah. Tably and put it on your chickens. <laughs> yeah, it's always like uh, reticence. The chickens are never comfortable. They're always like. <laughs> Would you hold still? I'm trying to find out what your attitude is right now. Like, oh, well, what's that? It's food, you idiots. Just eat it. Eat the food, you chickens. <laughs> you fat lard. What is that? Uh, that you threw on the ground? It's corn. Corn, you dumb chickens. Casserole. Uh, oh my gosh. Juwan did that a few weeks ago with his chickens and. I laughed so hard. He's like, our chickens are dumb. Every time you walk in, they're always like, what? Huh? You know, you go in every day to <laughs> feed them. Who are them you? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Who are you? What's funny is they're starting to make this noise now where it's kind of like, oh. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> he sent me a picture of his chickens after he made his chicken coop. I told him about this last week, but uh, he sent me a picture of his chickens. He goes, "These are what my I don't I don't mean to bore you with my uh, with my progress on my chicken coop." And I said, "Well, I'm actually very interested in your chickens, Juwan, because I am." And so he sent me a picture of his chickens, and I responded, "Your chickens are more physically attractive than our chickens." And he said, I relayed that message to the chickens and they did not respond because they are stupid. <laughs> yeah, they made the same face. They go, you guys are, John said you guys look attractive. And they're like. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. So if maybe if I had an app to tell me how they felt about that, maybe that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. <laughs> Bridge oh, that communication divide. Please get that app and if it's free, <laughs> get that chickens. app and try it on your That'd chickens. Yeah, and we have to know how it works on chickens. Okay, holy smokes, chick that check. was fun. <laughs> Luke says um, it's called Chick Check. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, we're out of time. We're out of time, so stop saying things. Uh, it's time <laughs> shut for shut up, shut up, everybody. It's time for a snappy wrap up. How's that going to work this week? Well, since everybody's together again after a long time apart, all four hosts are going to do the snappy wrap-up. Yep, that'll be that snappy. Really confusing at all. Yeah. That'll yeah. be so Good snappy. Luck. But what you're just going to be doing is shouting Scottish your best insults, insults at each yeah. other. So, <laughs> uh, this week you won't be able to see each other's faces because our video is going to come on the screen. We'll see how this works. But on my mark... This week, we we're go. just reading the names of our clickers. Is just what it the is. clickers. That's it. Oh, which means that we probably need to do any other like notes like right now. Like go to johnbrainy.com, become a click member. Um, go to um, the effort party is right after the show. You can join us on that stream if you're a member already. You've got access mm -hmm. to the link on the member's homepage. If you're not, you can be. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, Juwan plays with Casting Crowns. And, we're leaving uh, It's this a week. band. We're going to be on Thomas tour. John Thomas has his own website. And here's Brian's Patreon page support him support him yeah, so be supportive that's, that's, those are the basics right we have a lot of very important not planning to do in the next hour of mm -hmm. the show so join us at the effort party and ready for your scottish insults ready Get, proceed go mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, the the comedy clicker. Clicker. look at them there's brian april louise by aaron <laughs> <Mildenson>. <laughs> Justin uh, Broby and Jeffrey Davis. And Davis and Duck. I had him for Look dinner. At that. And Sherry Hampton. And Where's Taylor that naughty Jennifer Matlow? <laughs> Jeffrey <laughs> Davis. <Adam. laughs> it's Wobbly Donna Roos and Bambi Shram and yeah, Dean Trippi. James Ward, Daniel Zarn. Daniel Zarn. <laughs> what kind of a naughty name is Zarn? Bye. Bye.